bitches, every city in my tribe. Uh, look, 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 look behind. Booty dominate the world, peaches right. Uh, it's very alarming to me yeah. that your moral code comes from someone that says, do as I say and not as I do. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, if he's superior to us, and it's obvious um, that, like, he would have, like, I guess, more rights than us, you could say. I wouldn't even say rights, but, yeah, he can do more things than us. But anyways, uh, yeah, enough of that. Do you want to, can I ask you about abortion? Sure. Yeah, why are you pro-choice? Because I find pro pregnancy coercion unethical. And I don't give a fetus moral consideration. Yeah, but, like, um... So is it like based off of personhood or like body autonomy or both? Or I think it's odd that your Bible does support abortion, but you're against it. Well, it's um, a do as I say, not as I do. Oh, I got it. Yeah, the Bible doesn't support abortion. Um, yes, would... it does. In Numbers, it says if a woman cheats on her husband and she's pregnant, here's the recipe for her to miscarry. Hold on, what was that recipe? It was it's the bitter water. Go to, it's the bitter water. Water. You're missing a very important component of that concoction. Okay. Yeah, it was a curse from God. <laughs> like, God has that right. right. I, I just said it's a do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, okay, so let me ask you, that. do as I say, not as I do. Do you think that that, um, that, that I guess... Uh, what would you call that? Like, ideal? Do you think that applies to every single relationship? I mean, I mean, do you Why think it's, it? that, that it's good that, or do you think that's an, it's inherently bad if a relationship operates off of that ideal? No, I think uh, there can yes. be different types of relationships. Um, you know, obviously, a parent-child relationship. There are things that we wouldn't say a, an adult can do that a child should do. Yeah, so then, so then it's clear then that that ideal is not inherently evil. No, but so when we that child that, becomes so then, an adult and they can have and make decisions for themselves, then they can do it. Yeah, but exactly. It's clear then that that phrase isn't inherently evil. So we can't just posit that phrase whenever I bring up God and like what he commands us to do to like say that I'm evil or that, or that God is evil. So is you're easy. saying because he's an omniscient being that he has more understanding of why you know, killing people is, is better than we do. Uh, yeah. That's okay. just like, that's just like naturally derivative of like omniscience, but back to like abortion. Um, sure. you, what, what was it like? Was it, um, what was your argument? Was it just, uh, personhood or was I it? I find like, for pregnancy coercion unethical. If I were to convince you that like the fetus is a person, would you then like concede or does it like go into bodily autonomy more? Um, well, I mean, that's an element of it, but I don't think you can convince me that a fetus is a person. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I'd first have to, like, dismantle whatever your standard is. Like, what would you say is a person? An individual. Uh, so, like, conjoined twins are not, like, people? Or... Sorry, it's just like I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what you mean by like in, individual. I think that they are an individual sustaining their own life. Uh, a conjoined twin is an interesting dichotomy in that, which is why a lot of them typically don't live. Yeah, but we, I mean, we have to like remain consistent. Do you think that like because they're not like entirely individuals that they're less deserving of rights? I would say that rights begin at birth, essentially mm -hmm. when you've actualized your potentials to sustain your existence outside the womb. Um, so viability then? Well, viability can only be proven outside of the womb. Okay, yeah, I, I don't, uh, I, I don't even think like viability. Personally, I don't see viability as like a good standard because like people are all, all the time like not viable in real life. And we, like, treat them as people, right? Well, but they they have achieved viability. It's kind of like jumping a hurdle. Like, once you jump the hurdle, you can then continue to go along the racetrack. But it doesn't mean that that hurdle you jumped is now irrelevant. 
But I, I would argue, too, that depending on the degree of their vi uh, viability, that we would treat them differently and we would give agency to other people to make certain decisions for them. Yeah. Um, so then, like, why is it that if, like, this hurdle matters, why is it that, like, we it no longer matters when someone's brain dead? What do you mean? Because, like, when you're, when you're brain dead, you you lose all potential for sustaining life. Um, therefore, like, they, a person is declared dead once they're brain dead. Um, so, like, why is it that we no longer grant them rights, um, even though they've jumped the hurdle uh, of, like, my What rights do we take away from them? Yeah, so you can pull the plug on someone who's brain dead. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would actually, I, I feel that's more an argument for my side, because that's how I would essentially uh, make a fetus comparable is that essentially abortion is just pulling the plug. Um, yeah, but it's like, would you pull the plug on someone who you know is going to wake up from a coma? They're not brain dead then, right? Right, yeah, but, but we but, don't value potential. We value them for the state that they're in. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that like, when you're brain dead, you lose potential for life. Therefore, we no longer deem you a person. But when you're in a coma... You don't lose potential. You have no life. Like, when you're not brain dead, you don't have potential for life. You have life. Well, the body is still living. We just no longer deem them a person. The so, so, Sure, I mean, yeah. with the machines, if respiration is occurring, yes. Yeah, so I guess let me clarify in the comments. Uh, so, I no, saying... I find turning off the machine is not a violation of their rights. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that when someone is a coma, they have the potential for life. And like, if we know that that potential... Uh, a coma like, we isn't know that that brain dead, be... though. There's still and some and they're not. No, so that's what I'm... That's what I'm and again, right it's now. not potential. It, it is life. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm uh, clarifying right now. Uh, that like, if we're talking... Um, like, like, like a coma, we know that they're going to wake up in like nine... Or, or I guess to be analogous, like we'd say like they wake up in nine months. But when someone is brain dead, we know that they wouldn't wake up again or whatever. It wouldn't be viable again. Right. Um, so why is it that like we we treat one as a person, but the other is not a person? OK, there are different stages to a coma. And once they are brain dead, then they have the option to take them off life support, which is keeping them brain dead means there's no level of brain activity. So essentially, the machines are keeping them alive, and they will not be able to uh, sustain them without the machines. Um, yeah, but like, it, it's glad the person is still living, and and being able to like bear rights isn't the same as like being able to practice rights. Um, like, uh, I don't even know where I was going though with that. But when when someone is brain dead, it seems as though like we the reason we can kill them or like no longer treat them as a person is because they're like no longer considered a person because they don't like have viability anymore right they're no or, longer no, because they don't have potential. Alive. It, it's not potential Ooh, so okay so then why is it that like in a coma right we and i feel uh, that's an argument again for me rather than for you because if you're defining so you you agree that brain death is death correct uh yeah or i if like so, the, a death of a person so, so they're dead. Yeah. Because they don't have a brain. Yeah, but I, I would say that it's a death of a person, not of a life, right? The, like the body's still living. Right, but I'm, I'm focusing on the brain here. And that's where you're kind of identifying life. Um, no, I'm just saying that like when someone's brain dead, they, they no longer have potential to like, uh, I guess like have life. So that's what it seems like as though that's what we value. Can you be alive and dead at the same time? Um, no. No. Okay, so we agree that there are two sides to the same coin. So if you identify someone as dead because they no longer have a brain that can support their existence, why would you say a fetus is alive? Because a fetus doesn't have a brain. Yeah, but I, what I was emphasizing is that it's not necessarily like the brain that like determines whether or not you're living. It's like whether or not you have like the potential to for life in the like or, or like for personhood in the future. Um, it, it seems as though that's what we value. Um, one like a current potential that's like like actively. Mm -hmm. Then you could say sperm and eggs have potential. Well, they have a, they have a passive potential, not like an actual like a realized potential. Well, so does a a zygote. Yeah. So I, I mean, let, let me let me propose this analogy. Let's say. Let's say you you put money into like a stock, right? And like you you know for a fact that this stock 
is gonna like hit a million dollars wouldn't you like and wouldn't you treat that stock as if though it like it already hit a million dollars like what do you value it in the same manner no so if you if you knew that a stock was gonna hit like a million dollars and you like it, it was gonna turn like your a hundred dollars into a million you wouldn't value it as a like it, it could become a million you wouldn't like treat it i wouldn't value it as a million no because it's not and again, you're equivocating, like you're saying that once a fetus is conceived, that a live birth is guaranteed, and that's not true. Um, no, but what, what I was saying with like the analogy is that like I would do everything in my like that that I could to like make sure that that reaches a million dollars. Well, what can you do when you're investing in stock? <laughs> I'm so fucking cute, bitch.